Good morning. It's a beautiful day in the mountains. It's a little chilly up here. I hope it's cozy where you are. Um, as we look at today's devotional, I want us to, to, to catch the idea of what God wants to do. Always what God wants to do is zoom in to your life and meet you where you are. Um, as a church, we want to join him in that and love you, coach you, encourage you to go where he wants you to go, to be who he wants you to be. So our whole uh, message this last week was about um, the journey, God's journey for you, God's journey for me is progressive. It moves us. Uh, what I love about Luke and, and how he kind of packages the messages all along the way from chapter and verse to chapter and verse is he does a couple of things. One, he gives us kind of a wide angle perspective and then he zooms in to someone specifically. So. Uh, we looked at the progression, Jesus' progression in the gospel, and how Jesus' message is moving and progressing. Jesus first brought his message to the Jewish people in the synagogues. And so in chapter 4, we see that Jesus going all over Judea, all over um, Galilee, which were large regions and lots of little towns. Most of them had a synagogue. A synagogue, to be in operation, had to have at least 10 Jewish men who were learned in the scriptures and could come and study and deliberate and dialogue. And so in every little community that had 10 men, they could have a synagogue. So Jesus is going from synagogue to synagogue to synagogue, proclaiming the good news. Um, this you Angelion, this good news, this gospel that changes everything, that lets the reign of God come in. And as they do that, Luke will give us a picture of him talking to a crowd but then he'll focus in a specific message. In Luke 5, as we enter into Jesus going literally from the synagogues to the streets, right? Jesus was, you know, no longer going to the synagogues to teach. He didn't like, he didn't stop doing that, but he shifted his focus to taking the message to people on the street. He went from the insiders to the outsiders. He went not just from the Jewish people, but to the Gentiles. And so Luke's giving this big picture of the move of Christ, speaking to all people. So in Luke 5, 1, when Jesus is on the, it says that Jesus is on the lake of Gennesaret, uh, he, he, see, he came to kind of speak good news, but the crowds were coming around him so much that he had to, he had to kind of borrow Peter's boat and get a little floating platform. And in that, he then speaks about the people. It says the word of God. He speaks to the crowd. He speaks to the whole everyone. But then he addressed specifically someone, Peter. God's always doing that. He's always wanting to, to send a message to all people, to everyone. Jesus' good news is for everyone, but it's also specifically to someone, and that someone is you. It's me. It's God's journey for you. It's God's journey for me that he speak to me. He speak to you. I love this. And so as we kind of look at what Jesus does, he always wants to bring the message home to us because God in his infinite ability can know the world and yet he wants to know us personally. So today I want you to absorb a little bit of God's good news that he came to to free you from whatever is holding you captive. He came to release you from whatever oppresses you. He came to bring rich a richness to wherever you're experiencing poverty. He came to give sight to wherever you can't see. So where is that? Maybe you're struggling to see God's purposes for you or that you matter, or that he loves you. I just pray sight for you today, that you would see with greater clarity than ever that God loves the world, and he wants to know you personally. And that's done as we simply let him address our blindness. Maybe we're blind to our own faults, or we're blind to our own prejudice, or we're blind to how much we are controlling. Um, maybe we're oppressed by insecurities, oppressed and held captive by a fear of rejection from others. Today, whatever it is that might be oppressing or holding you captive, I just ask Jesus to meet you in this space and that you would simply leverage this moment to engage and say, God, I, I surrender. Uh, remember our progression, our explore, 
discover, rely, surrender. God's always drawing us to a place of greater and deeper and more authentic surrendering of our fears, our anxieties, um, our worries, our conflicts with others to Him. So where do you need to surrender today? Lord God, give us eyes to see what needs to be surrendered to you and do that afresh today. Jesus, meet me where I am in my fear and my anxiety. And Lord, let me rise up as a child of the King to embrace the security of knowing you. Lord, to let you reign in all I do so I can experience you more deeply and give you away more effectively. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Give us some feedback. Let us know. Do you, do you like the devotions outside? Um, or is it too distracting? Uh, let us know. Um, have, you, have you shared it with a friend? What did they think? Um, you can do that through our online portals. You know, you can go to our app and send us information on the iCard on the app. You can go to the web. Communicate back to us. We love you. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.